Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Qasid Online. This is Ayub Palmer, and I'm an Arabic instructor for Qasid Arabic Institute. This is the 26th video in our Arabic letters series, and we'll be learning here about the ta marbuta and the jim, ha, and kha orthography. You can take out your writing worksheet and follow along with this video if you wish. For those who don't have the worksheets that accompany this video series, please fill out the form at the end of the video and Qasid will have them sent to you. Let's get started. So we have four main objectives in this lesson. The first objective is to pronounce the ta marbuta correctly. The second is to recognize the ta marbuta and the jim, ha, and kha in their special orthographic form. And the third is to write the tamarbuta in its different positions, as well as the jim, ha, and kha when they come in the middle of a word. And finally, to pronounce and write the tamarbuta and the jim, ha, and kha in their medial forms in a sentence. And the sentence that we're going to write for this lesson is Al-Khazanatu fil hujrati The cabinet is in the room. Let's look at the pronunciation of the Tamar Buta. Here we have the Tamar Buta. And this is an interesting letter because the Tamar Buta, I'm going to write this here, The tamarbuta is a letter that has kind of a split personality. Here you see that the, this looks like a ha, and we just looked at the ha in the previous lesson. But here we have two dots, and these two dots are like the dots of the ta. So here you can see that this letter is split between a ta and a ha. So sometimes it's going to sound like a ha, and sometimes it's going to sound like a ta. So this can sound like the t, as in table, or it can sound like the h, as in hand. We'll see how this works. So where are we in our in our alphabet? So we're down here at the tamarbuta, the tamarbuta, and we're also going to be looking at the orthography of these letters here when they come in the medial position. Now let's look at how we write these letters. So the tamarbuta only comes in two positions. Either it's going to come in the independent position, or it's going to come in the final position. And so the independent position looks like this, like the independent position of the ha, and the final position of the ha, but again it has two dots. And don't forget the two dots because that's how we distinguish this letter from the regular Ha, which we learned in lesson 25. Now the jim and the ha and the kha have a special form when written in the medial position. And so this is what I call a stacked form. Okay, so let's say I have an alif lam here and I want to add a jim to that. So one way of writing this is to write it like this. You see, like that, which is how we've been doing it. However, notice that I have to pick up my pen when I do that. I write my alif lam, 
But then I pick up my pen and I come down here to write the gene. So there's a faster and an easier way of doing this in which I write my lamb kind of in a short and I come over here and then I just come straight down and write my gene like that. And I can do that for the ha as well. So notice here, you see here, if I write the ha, I can write the ha like this. And I can do the same for the kha. You see, I can write it like this and put my dot on top. So this is what is called the stacked form of the jim, ha, and kha. We'll see how this works in, in a word or in the sentence that we have for this lesson. So let's write the ta marbuta first. And so I'm going to write here ta marbuta. First, I'm going to change my color. So we have the ta marbuta. Okay. So the ta marbuta comes in the independent position, and it looks like this. We just write it as a circle with two dots. In other words, it's the ha in the independent position with two dots. Very simple. And it comes in the final position like this. It's the ha with two dots. Again, the ha with two dots. Again, we have ha with two dots. There we go. So now we have, let's, now let's do the jim, ha, and kha in their medial position. This is the medial position. So let's write, it, let's do it with alif lam. So if we have here, we have the alif lam. So this is the jim. I'm going to write it like that, like that, and then write my dot underneath. Let's write the alif like this. Jim. One more time. Alif. My lamb, short lamb, and write it like that. So that's how we write the jim in the medial position when it's stacked. Okay, let's go into the next page. And again, we're doing here the jim, ha, and kha. Okay, so again, we're in the medial position. And let's do, now we're going to do the ha without any dots. So this is the alif. And if we do add an alam here, we do it like that without any dots because the ha, again, doesn't have any dots. So we do it like this, and then like that. We have the ha, one more time. And there we have the ha. Now we have the kha, let's do the kha. We have the alif, and we can do the kha like that. Again, alif lam with kha. One last time, we have alif lam with the kha in the medial position. Okay, now let's write the sentence that we started out with at the, on the second slide, which was our objectives slide. And we're going to incorporate all of these elements together to write a sentence, which is al khazanatu fil hujrati. Al khazanatu fil hujrati. Okay, so we're going to write here al khazanatu. So we have al. Okay. And then we want to here, but you see here, we want to, we, we wrote the lamb too far down. 
because we want to write the ch in the in the position in the stacked position. So let's erase this and write it again in the stacked position. So we're going to write it a little bit shorter. We have to write it shorter here and then stacked. So that's our stacked position. El chaza. We have a z. z. We have a here a fatha el cha el cha za long alif na el cha za na we have a fatha el cha za na tu okay so you hear el cha za na tu now you hear a ta but that ta that you hear is actually a ta marbuta and so so you have to memorize. The fact that al khazana has a tamar at the end. That's how you know. However, if I were to write this, if I were to take off the the vowel, the dhamma vowel, for example, let's erase the dhamma vowel. If I now pronounce this without a short vowel, in other words, I don't write it, I don't pronounce it with a fatha or a dhamma or a kasra, then it sounds like an like a ha. So I would actually pronounce this as El Khazana. El Khazana. But in this sentence we actually have a dhamma. So we're going to pronounce it because we have a dhamma on it, we're going to pronounce it as El Khazanatu. Now we have fi Okay, like fi, like this, and that's our fi, fa, ya, fi, which means in, and then we have el hujra, el hujra. So here we're gonna have el, and then we're gonna do our stacked ha. Okay, see, we have our stacked ha, but now we're gonna actually do a double here. We're going to stack the jeem as well because we have a jeem on top of that. Wow, you can see that. That's pretty complicated. Al hu. Al hujj. And we have sukun there. Ra. And then our tamarbuta. But notice on this one, we have no vowel. So it's going to be hujra. Like an H sound. So this has an H sound. And this has a T sound. So we have Al Khazanatu Fil Hujrati. And here we actually have a Hamzat Wasal. This is also a Hamzat Wasal. So notice here that I didn't pronounce the Hamzat Wasal. When I said Fil, I jumped all the way to the lamb here. Why is that? Because if you remember, when we discussed the Hamza al wasl if there is a word or a letter before the Hamza al wasl and we connect those two, either the word or the letter, to the Hamza al wasl the Hamza al wasl disappears. And we jump directly to the next letter. So this is Fil, Fil, Hujrati. So our sentence here, al khazanatu Fil Hujrati means the cabinet is in the room. Now let's write this a few times together. I'm going to change my color. So again, we're writing the cabinet is in the room. Okay, so here we're gonna. I'm gonna write El Khazana. So right here, El Khazana, El Khazana tu. F 
fil hujj ra fil hujra al khazanatu fil hujra the cabinet is in the room let's do it again al khaza al khazanatu fil hujj ra al khazanatu fil hujra Great. Now let's recap and discuss what we've learned so far. So, as you remember, the tamarbuta is sometimes pronounced as a ha and sometimes pronounced as a regular ta. The tamarbuta is written like a ha but has two dots on top, like the two dots of the letter ta. The tabar multa is always written at the end of a word, and always on a noun or adjective. And remember, the tabar multa is pronounced as a ha when there is no vowel, no short vowel, on the tabar multa. But it is pronounced as a ta when there is a short vowel, either a fatha, or kasra. Now the ha, jim, and kha can be written in a stacked position when they come in the middle of a word. And they can be stacked either just one of the letters like el khazana, like the kha and el khazana, or they can be doubly stacked as in al hujra with a ha and a jim stacked on top of each other. So please download the writing worksheet and practice writing the tamarbuta and the jim, ha, and kha in their stacked position. And also don't forget to download the, the letter combination chart and the reading activity that goes along with this lesson. And also, to get a hold of our entire set of worksheets that go along with these video tutorials, please see the instructions at the end of this video or in the text blurb below. Thank you so much. Ma'asarama.